what is up to my lexi gold gang we back we back we back with another video we back hey 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 all right i'm done all right i just came from school and i ain't even going to make it one just so i can record for you guys i'm so tired and i was gonna do um a smoked out liner and a bold lip for a tutorial today but I'm tired so I think we just gonna do my everyday makeup look you know just a little 10 minute video and be done sounds good to me sounds good to y'all I like that all right so without further ado let's get into it so whenever I do my makeup I always 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 start off with my eyes so I'm going to do my eyebrows first. I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony. This color is a little bit dark for me, um, but you always when I set my face, it always lightens up. So I don't really mind that much. Okay, I'm back. My bad, y'all. My camera fell and it cut off, but it's okay because my phone isn't cracked and we're ready to move on. Alright, so I done shaped out my brows and all that. So I'm just gonna take my spoolie and just kind of blend out any harsh lines that I may have. I could do that in the camera. Sorry, why does my face always look so red? After I wash it. Like you would really think I have a red undertone. Which is not the case. Like. I have a green undertone in my skin. But every time I wash my face. I think it's because I'm light skin. That's it. I'm light skin. So I have. That's what happens. And it is what it is. Oh lord. Alright, so now that's happened, we are going to carve them out and I will be using my my tart shape tape because it's my favorite in the world in the color medium. Woo! I like them vocals, don't you? I can sing low key, y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. Why not make a sitting and singing video for y'all and y'all just be like, whoa, 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 it's Beyonce. And y'all be sick. Let me stop playing for Beyonce come try to kill me because I can sing better than her. <laughs> oh, no. I'm pretty quick with carving out my brows. I don't like to bring it too far down because I think bringing it too far down and blending it out is just kind of like it messes up the natural look of your eyes, like the natural color of it. So I do just a nice thin line just to make my brows look nice and sharp. And with the tar shape tape, you really don't want to let it sit there because once it dries down, it's stuck. It's not going anywhere at that point. So I always do this like one eyebrow at a time, unless I'm doing the, the top part of my eyebrow. Which I think I'm going to do today because it's a little messy. That's how you know. That's how you know I'm tired because my eyebrows is messy and I spend the world doing my eyebrows. So this is not okay. So I'm gonna take this deluxe crease brush that I use to blend out my eyebrows and just blend. Out. All right, my eyebrows is laid and slay for the one time. You feel me? So I'm gonna move on to priming, and I am going to prime with my Elf Poreless Face Primer. Looks like this. I'm gonna be different today. I'm gonna give y'all some some different products. Whew. All 
my god, it smells good. Mm. Oh, that definitely feels like it's doing its job. It's extremely smoothing. Oh, that feels nice. I don't know if something should go in your face that smells as good, though. This smells amazing. It smells like, like pine salt. Yeah, I don't know if pine salt, pine salt is supposed to go in your face. Oh, but it's not my first time using the Elf Primer. It's my first time using the poreless one, though. I like the blemish control one because if you ever had the blemish control one, it really does, like, get rid of your blemishes. Like, whenever I use a breakout, I go by that. So when I put my makeup on, it just <sighs> fixes everything. I don't like the illuminating one just because it doesn't blend out the best. The hydrating one is okay. I think that's all I tried. But I like this one so far. I don't know how it would work on people with more oily skin than me, but I don't have like super, super oily skin. I have like normal to oily skin because my face dries up sometimes too. Like I have weird skin. It's actually really annoying. Whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my, my new favorite foundation. It's going to be my my new NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, my 16 hour. I'm going to just put a few drops and I'm, I'm going to mix it. I thought I dropped it. I'm going to mix it with my Clinique 2-in-1 just because I want to and I can. Try to give y'all a smiley face for the one time. You feel me? Y'all feel me. Y'all know y'all do. Am I annoying yet? Is the question. This is third video. Am I annoying yet? <laughs> okay. I think I'm done. Okay, let's get the blend in. like something like that okay so on a day-to-day -day basis i do not i do not i do not i do not cream contour i don't do any type of contour like that i only do like bronzing powder and stuff like that because some people sometimes i'll be tired and i don't have time for that in the morning and it does the job i've been doing this i know what i'm doing okay okay this is what I need. It sure is. So I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige. And I'm going to use that to highlight all the points in my face. I always put it on my hand first. Put it on my brush, my concealer brush. Put it on my concealer brush and then apply. What on earth is that? Ah. I swear this always happens to me. Alright, for this step, when I start blending out my under eyes, I always blend one, 
crease and then immediately set it because if I don't then the creasing just happens automatically and once it's there then it's stuck so what I'm gonna I'm gonna um I'm gonna set with my Laura Mercier because it never lets me down I need a palette. A palette fast. I need to get a fan. That's what I need to do. Oh, that sounding spray bright. About to be bomb now, though. I can already feel it. I just felt my skin tighten up. Oh, I love it. It's about to take forever to dry, though. So now I'm going to powder contour with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And I got the light to medium palette because I'm light to medium. I think I'm gonna use a lighter of the two colors because I'm not I don't feel like overdoing it today. That looks like it's going to be super pigmented and I'm not even ready for it. Oh, that's nice and natural. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. I like it a lot. So now it comes to my favorite part, as everybody knows, when I highlight this face, you feel me? What's that? Oh, I can fall on the floor, I don't care. And today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Times M Resi Palette, or not palette, highlighter. In case y'all don't know, M Resi is my spirit animal. She's everything I aspire to be. I want to be her. So when she dropped this, you know I had to go get it. Like, and the thing about the thing I like about it is when you first put it on, it's not blinding. So for a natural day like this, it's still a good highlight, but it's buildable. So if I want to be blinding, I can. That's that's the make of a good highlight right there. My girl did that jump. Uh, oh lord it's gonna make me cry she didn't she did the thing I 
kind of press my highlighter in just to make it look more natural. Press it in just a little bit on the side of the beauty blender that you did not use because all sides don't get used in a makeup session. Hallelujah. She made this beautiful highlighter. With them vocals, y'all wasn't ready. I always kind of look a little dewy. Kind of like to look a little dewy. That's what I meant to say. When I beat my face. I was going to tell y'all why. But I don't have a reason. That's crazy. I'm going to take a little smaller brush to do my nose, my inner corner, and my eyebrow. Then we're going to blush. Then I'm going to put some mascara on. And then I'm going to be right back. That's bright. That bright, that bright, that bright. I'm telling you. And she only made this on $28. Like $28. I was expecting like $40 when I had seen it. And I go on a I go on the website just to check the price and it said $28. I said, oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She, she already knew. She already knew. Let me highlight this brow bone of mine because no look is ever complete without a brow bone highlight. Ever. Ever. Look how my. Look how much better that looks. Ugh. right there all right so now I'm gonna blush with my blush to go four color blush palette from BH cosmetics and I'm gonna use this kind of um hmm. what kind of color would you call this I'm gonna use this one it's like the more red of them all because it's my favorite one in there. That was kind of... That was a little much. It's okay. Because you just take your little setting powder brush and just wipe it away. I wish I could wipe my homework away for school. That's what I wish. Cause I don't got time for that Eva. Alright. Ooh, it's so nasty looking. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna finish myself up and I will be right back. All right, y'all. We are back to Pabby. Wish Pappin, baby. Oh, I always look so much better once I do my hair. My makeup come together so much better. That's crazy. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like in natural light just so y'all know that I'm not tripping when I say my lighting is not good. Is not camera good enough. But this is my natural everyday foundation routine or routine in general. I also use the... um. The Lash Sensational Mascara on my eyelashes. It is, it's actually my first time using this one, but 
I like it a lot. I mean, the bristles are smaller than what I'm used to because I use like long bristle um, mascaras, but it separated my lashes really nice. And I also did not get none on my eyelid. I always get mascara on my eyelid, but I'm looking good. You feel me? Oh, yeah, I like that. And you know, my highlight is pet no whatever. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna take y'all outside. So y'all can see what I look like for real. And then I just go ahead and deuces on y'all. Peace. Alright y'all, this is what I'm looking like in natural sunlight. <laughs> this hot light is killing me y'all, it's killing me. <sighs> Ooh. Just so y'all know, like everything's not as harsh as it looks on the uh, in my in my room on the camera, but this is this is how I look every day. <laughs> so this is how I look every day. So if y'all like it, try it out for yourselves. Let me know. Subscribe, 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 subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Mwah.